the area was growing uh, pretty rapidly out in Zion Crossroads. A lot of commercial business, a lot of uh, residential development. So we saw the need in our future traffic projections that there would be a need to move people uh, more efficiently through that interchange. Uh, so we had a lot of truck traffic. We had a lot of uh, we had a lot of commuter traffic coming onto and getting off of Interstate 64. So we considered various alternatives, and um, one alternative that came up was an innovative alternative called a diverging diamond interchange. When I first heard about the the, the diverging diamond, I live in the area. I grew up in the area, so my first reaction is, "Oh no! My, how are my grandparents going to drive through this?" We had a pretty uh, robust. Uh, public outreach and originally they were fairly skeptical about uh, traffic crossing each other and, and in essence traveling in uh, the left-hand side versus the typical right-hand side. I mean, a lot of the people on Route 15 make a left-hand turn to enter I-64 either eastbound or westbound. Left-hand turns are inherently uh, dangerous not only because you're crossing oncoming traffic but also if the people are not be able to make lefts fast enough those turn lanes can back up into through traffic and cause rear end accidents and other uh, potential traffic incidents. The uh, di diverging diamond interchange is a much safer interchange. It reduces the conflicts and makes some of the harder movements free flow. So uh, left turns, instead of crossing across traffic, you're simply free flowing onto the interstate. The biggest advantage is our safety. Of course, operationally, it moves many more vehicles through the interchange uh, as compared to a typical interchange. And also, it is a much less uh, expensive alternative. Because we did the diverging diamond, we did not have to rebuild the bridge across 64. We also didn't have to buy any new right-of-way on 64. And this project, with the design and construction, was approximately $6.9 million. Uh, a typical interchange construction um, would be 15, 20 million dollars. So in essence, maybe a third to a quarter of the typical cost. I believe after the initial few drive-throughs of a lot of the local traffic that uses the interchange, we have had little to no uh, complaints or concerns. As I stated before, I live in the area. My, my parents, grandparents, everybody drives through it without a hitch, and they, they, they love it. The reactions have been great. You know, people drive through it. They, they realize the, the, the time savings. They realize that in the future, we're going to have a lot more development out there, and, and, they, and, it's, and it's functioning much more efficiently than it did before. In fact, we've only had one minor fender bender since the, uh, since the diverging diamond has been constructed, which I count as a great success.